What is up, y'all? It is your girl, The Bad Pocahontas, and I'm here with another video. Giving the girls glitz. Giving the girls glam. Oh, okay. So, y'all know prom is approaching, so I was like, hmm, let me drop a prom series, okay? Each week, I will be dropping a video dedicating a special glitz and glam look to prom, okay? Because there may be some girls who can't afford a makeup artist or there's no makeup artist around or the makeup artist is too busy to do their makeup and i don't need nobody shed no tears how i shed tears because of prom okay so i graduated 2020 i didn't have a prom that's why i shed tears but you have a prom and i need you to look like that girl when you walk through so i'm gonna go ahead and help you guys out quick easy simple step by step and also, if you are graduating this year, go ahead and drop class of 22 down in the comments below. In my next video, I will be shouting out two to three people because why not? Also, for everybody watching this video, go ahead and tell me in the comments what type of setting powder you use and if you bake or not. Because why not? And like I said before, I will be dropping videos every week. So make sure you turn on your post notifications. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you leave a big like. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Into the video. Starting off with the inner Stasia brow was in the color ebony so I'm just gonna go ahead and get my angled brush that my cousin bought for me from Target and has a spoolie on one side and angle brush on the other side so what I'm doing is just brushing up my brow hairs into position then I'm just gonna dip the angled part into the pomade and I'm gonna start with tracing the under line of my eyebrow and then eventually doing the top and then shade it in and then blending out the front This is what I mean by blending out the front. You want to take the spoolie and just brush it over to where it gets very light and looks like it's ombre. You just want to keep doing it as much as possible so that it can look as natural as possible. Go over and fill in any parts that you know you miss and shade in. Going in with the Tarte Shape Tape, the color Rich 57N. And I'm just going to go ahead and conceal under my eyebrows. I'm just going to take a flat brush from Morphe and go right under. And try to be as slow and sharp as possible. Because you want the under part to be sh very, very sharp. So I'm lifting up my eyebrows so I can get a really, really nice, clean cut. Um, but also like I'm in a lot of different awkward positions if you need to get in an awkward weird position then do that like if it's going to feel comfortable enough for you to do a very good job do the position it's perfectly fine there's no right or wrong way to placing your hand when doing makeup Taking this dupe P. Louise base that I got from Amazon, and I'm gonna get a really good amount and I'm gonna just pat it on my eyes. I'm using a Dollar Tree paintbrush, but yeah, you just wanna pat it on both eyes to get a really nice smooth base. Once I get it done to both eyes, I'm gonna go in with the dense Morphe brush and I'm gonna blend out the edges so that it's very seamless towards my brows. Taking the color Believe in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alicia Edwards palette, I'm going to take a little small um, Morphe brush. It is a eyeshadow brush and I'm going to basically trace a cut crease with that purple. 
and it's going to take me a while because you only just want a very thin line you don't want to fill it all the way in but you do want a decent size cut crease line so i am not going to speed up this part because i just really want y'all to see like it takes time to get that line and also i'm going to be adding back in the pigment to that line as well but anyways so like i'm just gonna chat with y'all so my favorite high school experience or time or memory would have to be um i don't know maybe like leaving school early y'all i was i wasn't a real big fan of any of the high schools i went to just didn't really like people like that uh, especially when my best friend left school was just like what's the what's what's the purpose um so yeah but anyways for the seniors you know pretty please take your time because you need to look like that girl when you walk through so yeah take your time and i just want to know now that you're about to graduate what is your favorite high school memory drop it down in the comments let me know and don't forget to put class of 22 for a shout out in my next video. Going in that same palette using Texas May with a really small precise brush um actually that is not no small precise brush that is a fluffy brush sorry y'all but i'm just gonna go right over that purple and i'm gonna add that pink and then i'm gonna blend them in to get a really nice transition between the two and also when you're blending in the color is going to start to fade so you just gotta go back in after you blend and add the pigmentation of the color um but yeah do that looks a hot mess right now but you have to trust the process if you saw the intro then you know the process is worth trusting like it's going to look funky but that's why you finesse it okay So if you're thinking about coming to the University of Florida or you already know you're coming, you know, um, you could definitely reach out to me. My socials will be in the description box below. You can reach out to me. I can tell you about the area, show you about the area. Um, there is multiple, multiple, multiple communities and organizations to be a part of. It is a very, very nice town. Everybody is so welcoming. Um, and you will definitely enjoy your time here, but now it is time to cut the crease. So I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Vanilla and cutting the crease, especially on yourself. 
it is hard work so i'm going in super slow i'm starting off in the middle and then i'm going to work my way towards the inner corner of my eye and i'm going to try to shape a little small cut crease and then eventually open up my eye blink and then trace that line and fill it in i feel like i said a lot but i really didn't say enough so if you watch you should be able to catch on what i was saying like you see how i'm making a really small baby cut crease eventually it will be bigger yeah Like, I am literally still cutting the crease. Like, make sure you set aside some time to really do your best because cutting a crease is pretty easy. But when you're doing a specific look and you need it to be sharp as possible, you really need to be really slow and you really need to have a light hand because I have a heavy hand and I'm trying to be as light as possible. So it's taking me a lot longer. Um, but usually, if I'm just doing like a one two one two, I can cut it really quick. But for people who don't know how to do this, I got to slow it down. So this is me slowing it down and trying to do it as best as possible. So you see how I looked up and that little line that it made. I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye and try my best to connect them, fill them in, and to set my uh, cut crease. Do you see how you're seeing less purple? This is what I meant by start off as a small. Look, look, look. You see how I'm filling it in? And I'm increasing the cut crease, making it a lot bigger than what it was. Because I'm continuously uh, tracing it and enlarging it. So right now I'm filling it in. And I'm making the purple only visible just a smudge just to pop just a smudge or a pop okay and you want to make sure you pat do not swipe pat and i'm just looking to make sure that this is a nice size cut crease to see if i want to make it a little bit more bigger or just to keep it and i think i'm going to keep it so now i'm going to go in with this crayon case color i don't even know how to pronounce it super scent dude not me so it's a light purple and i'm just gonna go right in that cut crease and i'm gonna fill it in it's basically like coloring type stuff like you literally just put the color on top of what you did like that's all you do Going back in with the color believe and i'm just going to go ahead and put it on the outer corners of my eyes so you see how where you would make a wing for eyeliner you just want to go ahead and close the cut crease with that color that you made for the cut crease if it makes sense going in with my nyx epic liquid felt tip eyeliner i'm making a thin line I don't want to do a big wing because the eye look is already too much. So you don't want to look at me, Janet. A a okay, yeah. So you don't want to like take away from the look by doing way too much. So I'm just making a real thin liner to where I could set my lashes on. 
I was being a little bit crooked because I was jamming too hard. So this is going to be the NYX Epic Liquid Eyeliner in the color Lilac. And I'm basically going over where my black eyeliner is crooked because it matches the same color as my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to go in and clean up any crooked lines. Or if I made one too thick, I'm going to thin it down using um, this eyeliner right here. And this is not a felt tip. It is a paintbrush tip. I'm going in with the Lancome Eye Dolly Mascara. Y'all, when I saw Zendaya wearing it, I was like, hmm, she real cute. Let me get it too. So I got it too. And y'all, it is really good. And it even has like a, a scoop, like, like a indentation. It is really good. But now I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Foundation. I cannot remember this color for the life of me, and I don't know. I was trying to figure out the color and can't figure out the color. All I know, it is the second to last dark neutral shade, okay? And I'm just going ahead with this Dollar Tree paintbrush, and I am evenly putting this around my face. I know it looks really dark, but if you watch the beginning of my video, the intro, it's going to match me in the end, okay? Makeup is about finesse. I don't know how much time I got to tell y'all this. But anywho, I'm just going in and I am uh, patting in this foundation using a Real Technique Expert Brush. And I'm just going in, getting it to look like my skin. And again, I know I look dark, but give me a moment. Um, so using that same paintbrush, I'm going to clean up my eyebrows just a little bit. Um, yeah. So because this foundation is pretty dark, I was like, I'm going to go in with three shades lighter. Boom. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the number 13. This is the Define and Hydrate line because they do have two different concealers. And this is not the original. This is the second one, the Define and Hydrate. So I'm going in with this Real Technique um, Concealer Brush. And I'm just tapping this in. Make sure you look up, lift up your eyes, all that good stuff. So you make sure you get a nice, smooth blend and you just want to keep tapping 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 and especially on the outer um edges you want to make sure that part is definitely seamless as possible um once i'm done concealing i'm going to go in with some larry mercier translucent powder and then go in with my contour palette by morphe the 8d and i'm just going to contour as well as highlight and blush because that palette have all three highlight contour and blush and then I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Powder. Then go in with the NYX um, Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil in the color Milk. And set my face. And I'm done. Like, that, that's... Oh, can't forget about put on the lashes. Put on the lashes too. And then, yeah, I'm done. And that's going to be the look for you guys. I'm so sorry that it cut off and I couldn't get the rest. But my contacts end up falling out. And... That's what stopped the video because a real girl couldn't see me. And um, yeah, so enjoy the rest of the video. And if you are a senior, make sure you comment 22 to get shot out on my next video. I will be picking two to three people. And go ahead and put in the comments what type of setting powder you like and how long do you bake if you do bake. And look at your girl. Look, <laughs> BP tuning out.